All right, we're out here with Coach Vic, Land of Violence. Yeah, talk about your group. Um, are they ready for Saturday? Hell yeah. I mean, well, not yet, but they will be ready. You know, they're, they're a great bunch to coach. You know, they try really hard. They take all the coaching, all the hard coaching, like, and they and they go out there and, and perform. So proud of them, love coaching them, um, and really a blessing having all of them in the room. Has Tuli taken that next step? I mean, is he Marlin already, or is he is he still have some more room to grow? Um, athletically and physically, he's light years beyond anybody that I've been around in their second year. <laughs> Like, I keep forgetting that he was a freshman last year and tell him to do things like a senior would do. And I have to remind myself, like, this is actually his first actual training camp and first time, you know, being in the starting lineup for an entire season um, because he's just taking that role. He, he's a yes coach kid and, and does everything right. Is there anything that he can't do that you've asked him to do? No, I've asked him to do everything too. I've asked him to play every position on the defensive line, and he's done it at a high level. So um, he's been just taking everything from the training room to the strength staff to our defensive staff to head coach, and just going above and beyond. And that's just who he is. Like if you watch practice. I tell him to burst out of the stack, and he's the first one out and the last one back every every snap in practice because he's running. So uh, it's it's a blessing to have one of those guys in your room. Is he your is he your coach on the field? Yeah, I'd say a lot of them. I think uh, going into our second season, um, Nick has really taken the playbook and understood it. Uh, Jake and even Stanley and Jamar, you know those guys have taken the playbook and understand why we're doing things. First, it's just do what the line says. Then it's, OK, there's other lines around me on the paper. And then it's the broad perspective of, OK, this situation is what Coach Orlando's thinking. And this is why I have to be where I am. You know, and that's the step we're taking. I know these other guys have questions, too. With Corey Foreman, uh, what's, the, what's the hardest thing you have to get him to, to take that next step? Uh, I think experience. I think it's only going to come with live bullets. Um, he hasn't played in a while, and throwing him out there and seeing what he can do, I think is really going to be the biggest teacher. Is going against somebody that's not in Trojan gear and understanding the Coliseum and, and understanding pressure and, and getting after quarterbacks that want to get it out. So um, I think that's when he'll take the next step. And then the next step after that is to be seen. How much of a role do you anticipate for him right out of the gate week one? Yeah, as much as he can take. You know, as, as much as um, we see fit to throwing him out there, we're going to throw him out there. Like, we take Tuli last year. I'm not one to hold guys because I don't think they're ready. I, I trust practice. And that's a big thing for our, our defensive staff. It's like we trust what we see in practice, and then we expect to see that on Saturday. So. Um, when he gets out there, he's got full confidence. And, and I told my guys, if you're hot, like I loved as a player, if I was playing well, that the coaches let me out there. And I'm not afraid to do that. You know, that's, that's what they've earned throughout the week is playing time and opportunity to perform in front of their friends and family. You know? I know Clay said, you know, on third down, he's already obviously got all that natural sure. talent. What does he need to do on, or show you on first and second down to make you more confident in him on those downs? Uh, just with every other freshman, you know, just being consistent in assignment and, and alignment and all the little things. Uh, like I said, this is a very complicated defense, especially up front because we do a lot of different things. Um, so him understanding, you know, what to do, when to do it, how to do it, you know, it's just the growing pains of being young. But um, he's got a dog in front of him too, Nick Figueroa, that's gone through battles and understands the defense now and, and can play ahead of what he sees, right? He can understand I align here, they're aligned like that. I know this is what's going to happen, right? So um, he's got a great guy to learn from, and it just comes down to consistency. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nick really took that step forward last season, it seemed yeah. like. Where have you seen him kind of even elevate further? I think in leadership, you know, that's, that's one of the guys that I think 
they kind of gravitate to mm -hmm. to give me a message. So I'm like, <laughs> they'll go, Nick, ask coach if we can do this and that or whatnot because we have a really uh, close relationship. We just ended up talking a ton throughout the season and he had a lot of questions and came over to the house when he had his internship in Manhattan Beach. He came by, hung out with the family. So they kind of gravitate towards him to ask me questions and stuff, okay. which, is, which is funny. Uh, where has Stanley kind of proven himself to you over the course, given all the opportunity he was able to get? Over right. The camp, As someone that we trust. And I think that's the biggest compliment is that we trust somebody to go out there and play. And that's what he's done throughout training camp is just steadily improved and gained the trust of everybody in the building. What do you feel like you learned about your group this preseason? Um, kind of their limits and their capacity, right? As a coach, you want to know how long a guy can go, how long a group can go, how high can they play throughout training camp. And I pushed them pretty hard and left guys out there um, to see what they would do. And they all fought back and, and were able to execute. So that's the thing I've learned the most is that regardless of who's out there, they're going to go long, go hard, and, and execute at a high level. You're a SoCal native, and this yeah. is your first game in Coliseum with fans. What's yeah. it going to be like for you? Uh, it'd probably be emotional. Like, being in the Coliseum, last time I was in the Coliseum when I wasn't a coach, but I came out here on a recruiting trip when Aaron Rodgers came over and, and uh, <laughs> took it to overtime and almost set a record in, in SC1. Uh, and that's like a memory I vividly remember, you know? And so being here and from this place and being able to to walk out of the tunnel and have my family there, it's gonna be something that I'll remember forever, yeah. Is there a player in your group that stands out as having taken the biggest steps throughout this camp? Um, yeah, I would say the young guys. I'd say Colin and, and, uh, and Corey have taken huge steps because they came out straight out of high school without you know, being here in the spring. So those guys have taken the biggest jumps. I think as a group, we've elevated together. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens on Saturday. Awesome. Good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.